Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to the episode of Let's Play Stellaris. This very likely will be our last episode of this series. I feel like we've done just about everything we can do. Um, I mean, we are effectively, as far as I'm concerned, in first place. And by a long shot, I'm going to win. It says we're in third place. No idea who's in first or second or where in the world they would even actually be. Or where in the universe, I suppose. Um, they just don't seem to exist. Unless they're over here in this area that we haven't actually explored yet but it seems odd that we wouldn't see them by now so maybe there's something i'm missing about the game that they live somewhere in the never never area of, of, of the world but um i don't know i think what we're going to do is we're going to just play through a little bit longer we're going to go ahead and pick up these last two alien specimens just to kind of finish that thing off and just put a bow on that and uh, kind of go from there and i think that's going to be pretty good for now so Let's go ahead and uh, unpause for now. I don't think we have a lot going on. Probably try and speed through some of this stuff pretty quickly, actually. Wherever our um, transmission. wherever our guys are, incoming where are they running off to? Bunch of incoming transmissions. Some of that might be just because we just restarted the session. Sometimes that happens. Um, all right, so we got a couple science ships. I think heading over here somewhere. Yeah, should be. In fact, he's, she's doing her exploration now, and then we got one other to do uh, further up here somewhere, I believe. Yeah, we got a pretty, you know, everything's going pretty good. As, as a, you know, we got a lot of, you know, naval force. Uh, we've got a lot of star bases. We've got a lot of things going good for us. This, this game, I think, turned out pretty well. I mean, not as much combat as I probably thought coming into the game, but it's been okay. Uh, we got a little bit of combat thrown in there in the middle. And um, I think otherwise, complete. it's been okay. Um, I mean, I guess I could continue to do some of these constructions, I suppose, but I don't know. Is there is there much point? Just, we'll get a few things. Some of these guys that are overcrowded, we might as well give them some cities and just some things like that. See what we can do. Things moving along a little bit. Try not to pause it too much, because I'd like to just kind of get, get it flowing as much as possible for this last little bit here. Um, you guys have some extra building slots. No unemployment, though. These guys have unemployment, though. We can go ahead and go through and maybe boost up some of their internal buildings and things. Whatever. Just go upgrade something. Get some unemployment fixed that way. Capital's pretty much capped out at the moment. Uh, we could keep moving some people off, like we were doing, I think, last episode. But I don't know if that feels as necessary. So you are kind of way up there. So we got a little ways to wait for you to get to where you're supposed to be. You're going pretty far distance as well. So we got two guys heading pretty far away. There Ships is an upgraded. autonomous repurposer. Really? Ooh. Where'd it go? Oh, it's hiding in here. I want to go. Maybe we should go fight that thing just for fun. Huh. Can we make it over there? That would be kind of kind of cool. Um, grab all of our ships, all of our actual strike forces, and why not? Let's just send them over there and see what happens. They're probably going to get blown up. Although we took out a one of the dragon guys. Surely we can beat this thing up, right? Oh, you're going to have to go through the, uh, the warp zone. That's okay. I think we'll be able to make it through there. And if we don't get there in time before the end of the episode, I'm, I'm not that worried about it. I just want to mess around and have some fun. I have to go through here and then come back again. That's kind of interesting through the L gates. All right, so unemployment here. Um, yes, complete. just pick up. Doesn't really matter, complete. honestly. Just grab whatever. Construction complete. You really don't have much going for you. you have some spots to clean up. Construction complete. Clear blockers. Construction complete. I guess no point in clearing the blockers. I guess you're full. Let's upgrade a couple of you guys. <laughs> Get a few of them upgraded. Construction complete. Chemical plants, alloy plants. We need more chemicals. We do need a little bit more chemicals. Let's go ahead and do a few more of those where we see them. Construction complete. 
Bunch of construction completed. Construction complete. Probably keep an eye on my ships run over here, though, because if my some of my fleets get here before the others, we might have some trouble. So we probably want to pause them a little sooner before they actually get all the way to the end. You are overcrowded, although you are completely full up over here. Let's see if we can get you a luxury residence for now. Construction complete. What are we short on? We're short on alloys or some of this stuff. Oh, we're pretty low on exotic gas, actually. We're actually low on rare crystals as well. I need to get those working. Oh, here we go. One of our fleets is actually almost here. So let's go ahead and stop you just a little bit early. Make sure the other guys get here. In fact, this is one of our quicker non-full battleship fleets. We definitely want to make sure the full battleship fleet gets over here before we go in on that thing. It may not be that dangerous. It probably isn't, but just to be safe. Construction complete. All right. Anything else we should just be poking around on while we're waiting? Um, food's getting a little bit low. We'll get some food going. Oh, you guys stop there as well. And actually, that last one, as soon as it gets there, we can just move everybody in. Construction complete. We'll laugh. We just complete. lose all our ships here. Come on, you coming? Just to be War safe. War declared. War declared. Not on us, though, right? Surely not. I mean, although we are out of position, so it would be a good time for somebody to declare war on us. All right, so there's all of our guys. Let's start with our battleship fleet because that's our big bad boys, which is this one. And let's send you in first, and then we'll bring everybody else in complete. kind of right behind you. So 84 days to get there. I think we'll take the rest of you guys. 63. So actually, um, I want you to go away. And you guys to stay here until it says about 60 days. Research complete. All right, there's 63. So one of you guys was 63. Um, so we'll just save you guys for just a couple more days. I mean, it probably would have all lined up okay, but just to be safe. We'll wait until it says 58, then we'll send everybody. There we go. Everybody get in there, and uh should be a fun battle, hopefully. Oh, research is done. Oh, perfect time for some weapon speed to come up right as our guys are getting there. Although, I don't know. That might be... I don't think that's one that has an upgrade uh, that we have to go get an upgrade or anything. Kinetic battery, destroy build speed, titan hull points. We haven't actually made any titans, have we? That would be one other thing that would be really cool to go ahead and build out now that I think about it. Uh, in fact, actually, no, wait a minute. Didn't I build some titans and just had to do them manually? No, that's just a battleship. I thought I built a Titan like somewhere just manually though. I know I built the thing, didn't I? The the shipyard that could build a Titan. Fleet Academy. No, apparently not. Is it one of these guys? Oh, ion cannons. Oh no, I am building a Titan. It's just taking a really long time. <laughs> Well, there you go. I could have brought the Titan along with me, I suppose. That would have been cool. That's all right. We'll do this battle, and then maybe we'll find somebody else to go to war with. Oh, buzz, buzz, buzz. The Scavenger. The Sastrum system. Is this where we're at? Yes. Uh, is a sprawling graveyard of mechanical debris. The wreckage of untold numbers of derelict ships... Circle its star swathes of fuel and liquid coolant cloud. Our sensors like ghosts and creaking station remnants collide with the shattered carcasses of planets on their path around the sun. Wow. An incredible construct stirs in the heart of this graveyard. 
It appears to be a gigantic machine, a robotic automaton larger than our greatest battleships. Oh, that's just scary sounding. Um, jury rigged with the scraps and pieces of a thousand shipwrecks. The Strike Force Minotaur reports that this um, that this uh, scavenging robot sifts through the debris fields with a fixed purpose, scrounging for useful parts to add to its patchwork configuration. It is clear a battle of ast astronomical proportions once took place here, but whether the scavenger is the sole survivor or a scrap hunter from some distant nation remains unknown. We should exercise caution as the construct bears heavy artillery from dozens of of warships. Well, I got some pretty heavy artillery as well, so let's see what happens. This could be crazy. Uh, let's slow down just a little bit, because I kind of want to see this and happen. Here comes all of our other ships. Hey, hey, at least our battleships are the first ones. Should be able to take the brunt of the of the attack, hopefully. Come on, guys. What you got going on here? Oh, man, that guy's crazy. I mean, we are... Hitting him, but he's doing some good damage to us. It looks like we're we're going down pretty pretty heavy damage. Unless this is output. Oh, this is damage output. Never mind. No, we're doing some good damage here. We're fine. We're gonna destroy this thing. <laughs> I was reading this wrong. Uh, Admiral gains trait after recent victory in the Sastrum system. Admiral Sakura Ito has started emphasizing the importance of speed and rapid maneuvers in her fleet briefings. She is experimenting with new formations and patterns to get the most agility out of the starships under her command. Gale speed trait. Cool. Uh, can we see? I guess we can see her in a minute. I want to see what that does. Uh, I'll check in a second. Uh, the once imposing hulk of the scavenger has been reduced to a scorched wreck of sparking uh, machinery and hemorrhaging fuel lines. As our battle-weary combat ships make the finishing passes at the fl uh, flagging auto automaton, the scavenger makes one final attempt to engage its hyperdrive. Unfortunately for the robot, the damage inflicted upon its central system appears to have proven too much. Its exposed core glows a blistering blue-white as its engines engage, then overload. The, the luminance rising in heat and intensity until a series of core breaches tear the construct asunder. The ragged regent of the Sastrum system is no more. Research complete. There's this cool little, I say little, pretty big automaton thing. That's pretty cool. That was fun. I mean, I don't think we lost much. Maybe one or two of our tinier ships. Our battleships look all okay. But yeah, let's just send everybody back home, I guess, at this point. A bunch of derelict ships. We can definitely send us a, a uh, science guy over here to check this stuff out. And uh, we will do that probably here shortly. Let's get everybody back kind of over towards New Brittany, and then we'll, we'll get them spread out and get killed back up here in a moment. All right. Well, that was a fun diversion, I suppose. All right, so you're already in spot. You're already researching. You are on your way. You're going to take a little bit longer to get there, unfortunately. It does mean you'll go through some of this stuff here in the middle, though, so we'll see some of what's going on there. Engineering research. Oh, I never actually grabbed this. Ah, sure, we'll grab the Titan hull, point, hull points. We're about to get a Titan anyway. So I guess we can, uh, like I said, send somebody over there to investigate that. Oh, well, hello there. So we are going to find some people. Oh, no, now we're in first place. Well, there you go. Uh, barely, though. Barely in first place. So these Yapathi archivists are actually very close to us. They must be in a very advanced uh, kind of... Uh, what, are, what are they called? They're like Fallen Empire. There we go. That's, that's what they are. Like they're, they're very, very advanced. Well, I mean, it's cool that we're technically ahead of them and whoever the uh, second place person people are which must be in this such this area over here so we'll probably send one of our ships over that way as well to ch check that out that way we can officially say we found everybody construction complete and then oh no we did drop back down we were pretty high up there for a second oh i said i was going to stop this but knowing how close we are i may, may have to keep going until we can get above those guys now that i know they actually exist Oh, I never activated my relic. Oh, critical resource shortage. Oh, how did we get so much low on the minerals? That must be all the things I've been upgrading. Um, That's fine. We can go to the market and buy a whole bunch of minerals. We got a whole bunch of money. 
That'll work for now. That'll buy some time. Special project complete. Udloran Ud secured. The crew of the ISS Acuity has managed to collect a small group of Udlorans from the icy surface of Re Revium. These white furry omnivores wrap themselves into tight balls and roll across the planet's snowfields at astonishing speeds. One animal was cloaked at, uh, clocked at over 80 kilometers per hour. This aided in their detection since the passage of their rolling forms kicks up huge plumes of swirling snow. Cool. So, let's go grab our science ship that is now not doing anything. Uh, the Acuity. Uh, actually... Are you not doing anything now? Did you get stuck? Oh, no, you're researching there. Wait. No, you're not. You're not researching. I, th I thought that bar was researching. That's her XP bar. Um, so if you're not going up there anymore... How is there no route there? I'm confused. How is there no... Avoiding hostiles? What hostiles? Are those hostiles? Ew. Are these hostiles? They've closed their borders. Can we get open borders with them? Um, what am I looking for? I want to talk to them. So I actually want to go to the contacts. Uh, and I'm assuming they're going to be one of the only ones that actually has a decent power. Superior power, actually, of all things. Will you... Um, can we trade open borders? I'm guessing not. Hmm. They seem not happy with anybody. All right, well, in that case, what we will do is we will... So what is this? This is just a Screaming Marauders. Okay, well, let's grab one of our actual fleets, whichever one's probably the fastest. Which I'm guessing is probably this one. Actually, this looks like the best one. Yeah, so let's get you to come up here and unblock us. Because this is the last thing we need for that, that thing. So let's come unblock us up here. And it's going to take you a while to get there, but we'll do that. We might actually do need another episode or so, especially if we're going to have to go exploring some more. Uh, in fact, why don't we grab you and have you... I'm actually going to have you run down here and uh, survey this place and kind of check out some of that stuff. This guy, in the meantime, is going to move over here and see what else they can find. Let's go explore the system and just see if we can find the other, presumably the other fallen empire that's probably floating around out there. If I had to guess. Construction complete. Wow, they're they're more powerful than us. That's, that's crazy. Considering how small they are. Alright, construction ship. What was I having you do? How many you fill in some of these things that we hadn't finished yet? Um right, what are you doing over here? Oh, that's that's our military fleet. I'm saying that I thought it was our I was not expecting our military fleets to be back this quickly, but they went through the L-Gate already. Um, let's send you... I actually don't know. Not really much to hook up at the moment. Honestly, you probably could just chill. I don't really need you for any, much of anything at the moment. There's a lot of trade value up here. If we got another uh, thing up this way, we get some of the trade value, but that's not really that big of a deal. We'll chill for a minute. We've got our fleets remove, moving around, doing what they're supposed to be doing. Um, let's just keep up with some of this a little bit. I'm able to give us some more overall points. We're losing a lot of minerals. Kind of want to start plugging in some minerals where we can actually as well, now that I think about it. Especially like these guys that are mining worlds. Let's do that one because that's definitely going to get us more minerals. Trying to lose some more food. We'll check on that here in a moment. Population reached. Substance abuser. 
All right. Um, definitely gotta upgrade the mineral things where we can, or build them where we can. Those are gonna help us get this back under control. Need a little bit of food as well. I think I clicked on the wrong one. That's all right. I'm building an extra city somewhere, not gonna hurt anything. Uh, let's grab some food processing stuff here. Don't need a ton of food, just a little bit. Alright, so you're heading back this way. You're heading over there, and then you are still heading up that way. You got a long ways to go. But we'll get there. 790 days, so it's gonna take us three years to get over there. Wow. Um, I already got this thing going. Let's hold off on that for now. So are they getting further ahead of us? Or no, actually, we're back ahead again. So must, something must be just bouncing back and forth there. Complete. Construction complete. Construction complete. A bunch of construction being completed. All right, let's go to our fleets over here. Um, you guys. So your home base is TV land. We'll go ahead and... Oh. Okay. Keep clicking the wrong X. Alright, so our battleships go to docks. I don't know, would they repair at their own bases automatically? Go and have you guys... Actually, you guys are already repaired, so go ahead and start upgrading what you can. Uh, our other fleet, which is there. Let's just click over here, because it's, <laughs> it's being weird. Um, other fleet is... That's that one. This is this one. You guys come over here to your home base. We'll get you guys to repair up here in a moment. I mean, I guess you don't have to go to your home base to repair, I'm sure, but construction might complete. as well send you home. Construction complete. Your families want to see you. Construction complete. Bunch of construction being completed. Oh, did we finish our our Titan? Yes, and actually joined the fleet. There is our Titan. Very cool. 43,000. Not bad on the uh, overall strength. Not bad at all. That is cool. Tech world. You already have the tech stuff? Um, I actually do need some more exotic gas. I also need more crystals. Been, keeping, been, been forgetting to keep an eye open for that, actually. Construction complete. Research Institute, you need a planetary capital. So Construction complete. let's see if we can work our way up to planetary capital at some point. Let's go ahead and grab us a city district for now. I'm going to open for the gas stuff, or the crystals, I should say. I suppose I can do gas in the meantime, just to get us back above on that one. Construction complete. But would consume minerals. Complete. Do some minerals first. Get that back on the positive side of things. Construction complete. Well, a lot of these don't really need the uh, slot Ships build at the upgraded. moment. All right, we're back on the positive on the minerals. That feels pretty good. Um, you guys are all repaired, so now you guys can upgrade as well. Where's our other fleet? Still there? Not there yet. Making its way there. Very slowly making its way there. Construction complete. All right, we are gonna have, probably have to do at least one more episode, at least to find these other guys. Uh, I still want to finish this thing up here, so we'll probably send our fleet up here, kill those, find those guys, 
and then send our fleet up here to do its last little bit of thing to finish off that um, the alien specimen just because why not so I do appreciate you watching complete. and I hope you join me again next time thank you and goodbye